What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are playing Story of the Blanks 3D. So, this is a 3D recreation of the old creepypasta My Little Pony game known as Story of the Blanks. I will link my original video in the description of me playing Story of the Blanks if you've never heard of it. So, go give that a watch first before you watch this, unless you're just not interested. Anyway... Uh, let's jump in. I had to switch the language to English because it was in Espanol when I first got in. But, uh, let's go! Oh, that runs really smooth. But no, um, I'm gonna say this now. I already tried recording this. And I feel pretty stupid. <laughs> because, um, even no matter what language you set it to, the language doesn't change. When this tart is apple bloom. Que estas haciendo por aquí? I, I don't know. So if anyone understands Spanish, feel free to read it. I'm just going to continue skipping along. Um, also, this music's pretty good. It's pretty catchy. But no, a big thing about this, uh, I think it's great. It's a really good recreation. I love the music. Um, I, I love the graphics. It's really smooth. The only thing I don't like is the fact that there is no English, and I do not speak Spanish, unfortunately. Therefore, reading or translating anything that is said is simply something that I just can't do, unfortunately. Does it suck? Yeah, but... It is what it is. You know? Got some nature-like music in the background here. It's really nice. Really easy on the ears to listen to. The water looks great too, I like the reflection of the sun at the top right corner. Like for a game that was made with Unity, this is really nice. I dig this a lot. So yeah, I believe we gotta follow Twilight to Zakora. Also, if you want to download this recreation, it'll be linked in the description. I normally link games like this anyway, so feel free to go give it a download, and it'll especially benefit you if you speak Spanish. If you speak English, I definitely recommend playing or watching a video dedicated to the original Story of the Blanks first, because you're not going to get any English text here. Like, everything is in Spanish except for the names. So, I, be I don't remember what they're talking about here. I, I, I don't know. It's, it's been a moment. Uh, last time I played the original Story of the Blanks, I believe it was May of 2020. So it's been over a year since I last played Story of the Blanks. I do remember what's going to happen, though, so I'm I'm pretty prepared. For a creepypasta game, this one isn't too bad. Like, if you're looking for a creepypasta game that's not going to scare the shit out of you like crazy, this is a good start. Yeah, Twilight runs into, like, a fallen tree... After actually moving it, one, two, three, takes three seconds to move one. And then she runs into a bunch more. We got Ruby in the background. She's a big main part of this, by the way. But no, look at this. Uh, there's, there's a few. But if it takes three seconds with her magic to move a tree, I'm guessing there's about ten trees in this pile, right? I, I don't know. Three, six, nine. Yeah, that's like what? 30 seconds? We could be on our way in 30 seconds, Twilight. I don't know. If I'm right, uh, good job. I actually did math properly for once. If not, correct me in the comments. I'm kind of stupid. Anyway, let's follow Ruby. Since Twilight is being a lazy POS, not moving the fucking trees. The music here is a little creepy, but it's not bad. Not only that, the atmosphere is really cool. And unlike the original story of Blanks, 
uh, in this forest area, when we first go through here, there's these little squiggly things here that are kind of like markings that show us where we need to go. I actually think that's really cool. But yeah, there's a lot of big differences from um, the original game in this recreation. Obviously, the fact that this is in 3D and the original was two-dimensional, you know, that's the biggest difference. But these squiggly things here, I don't know what they're called. That's a difference. Um, the gameplay, it's pretty similar, actually. You know, you can use WASD, you can use your uh, arrow keys, and you press enter to, like, talk. Pretty much do whatever. So, like, you know. And here we go! So, this is the town where all the ponies do not like cutie marks, or they do not have them. And they believe, like, if you have a cutie mark, you're cursed or something like that. I, I don't remember, it's been a long while. Um, so, if we talk to her, she pretty much just talks about, like... I don't know, something about an anniversary, something about her boyfriend, I don't remember. Speak of the devil, he's like right here. Um, so, I believe we need to like go get a diamond or something that he lost and it's dedicated to his, his mare friend over there. So we're gonna go get that. It's over here. There it is. Can I pick it up? Ah, there we go. Now, we go give it to him, and, um, I don't know why. This is really weird, but when we give it to him, we, uh, he should walk over to, to her, but this is what happens. He finds it, and... Oh shit, it actually showed it, okay. The first time I played this, it must have been glitched then, because he just disappeared, and I was like, yo, where the fuck did he go? No, he... You yeah, know, he's just grateful we found his gift for his love, and she's happy, so. Next thing we do, um, we gotta go in here and we have to get, like, a wheel for, like, a, um, a well, or a cogwheel type of thing. Now, it's really dark in here, and due to the fact that I have light on my face, it's a little hard to see, I'm not gonna lie to you. So, I, I gotta be on my toes. I gotta pay attention. All right, I believe we go over here. Yep, push that box. Push this box, and then it's straight down. We pick it up. There we go. And there we go. There, we got that. That's going to come in handy. I do not remember what Mita says, or Mita, or however you pronounce her name. But I believe she talks about how something's wrong. Or something. It has to do with Ruby. If I'm correct. Like I said, it's been so long since I've actually played Story of the Blanks, I, I'm doing my best to remember the details, but I feel like I'm failing. Anyway, the reason we needed that cogwheel, or the little mechanism for the well, is because um, we go up here, hello you adorable green pony, so we go here and it's gonna get dark, and Ruby's gonna appear, we pretty much just follow her. She disappears, though, momentarily, and uh, there's a reason why. So, she goes in here, but it, it's locked, so you need to get the key, which is why you need the cogwheel. You know, you just use this, you get it, and then you go inside. So, when you go inside, nothing is too bad at first, and then you examine the fire, and that's when everything kind of goes to shit, really. Yep. Yeah, this audio, that audio that plays when you examine the fire and the coloration, I feel like this part is so much more creepier in this 3D remake than the original. It's genuinely terrifying to me. So now what we do is we kind of just go back and um, we have to escape the village. Or should I say, get out alive. And as you can see, the village has gone 
completely dark. Got some creepy piano. Definitely some scary shit there. Grey Hoof. No hobby ultimanata. I I'm not reading this. I think he said something about ruining the celebration, or... I, I don't know. Hello! How are you? You look a little spooky, friend. You're not who you once were. Oh, shit. Gladstone. I believe that's the green one. We never talked to her, though. Oh! Get away from me, you son of a bitch. Holy shit. They're a little fast. Not too fast. They're kind of a little slow, actually. <laughs> Okay, I see there's a few bugs. They can get caught on the fence quite easily. I kind of feel bad. Poor, poor, poor. Ronio and his honey, I believe. And this is Mita, the one from inside who thought everything was wrong. I think she talks about something about her having the mark. Which is... Talking about a cutie mark. So at this part, we have to run through the forest, not getting tagged. This music is much different from the original music of- Shit. Yeah. Luckily, there's no game over screen. It kind of just kicks you back. Okay. I'm gonna focus here. Jesus Christ, dude, get away! So many of you. My goodness gracious, bro. Alright, they disappeared. Now we kind of just walk straight ahead, which leads us to Ruby. Who was the pony with the cutie mark? Hello, Ruby. I think she says I'm sorry for, like, getting you into this mess. She was just curious. And it's understandable, you know. Luckily... Uh, I do remember this quite a bit. She has, like, the cutie mark, which is like a magnifying glass. Which makes it easier for her to find things. So she helped her find a way out. And, uh, she considered her a friend. So, I think it's a wholesome ending to this little creepypasta. Although, I believe they did, like, kill Ruby because she had a cutie mark at that village, so put an F in the chat for Ruby. Yeah. Um, nos vemos luego, amiga. That's like friend or something. I don't know. But yeah, that's um, that story of the blanks for you. Now, I really wish I could have uh, read this in English because I feel like it would have been a lot easier to play. See, like it immediately goes back to Spanish. I don't know why. I said it to English and everything, and it Throughout the whole game, it was in English, so I hope this gets fixed. But no, this is really good. I really like this recreation of the game. I recommend y'all go download it, so go to the description, download this game through Game Jewel, give the creator some love. It's good. It's a really good game. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video.